like last time, I'm going to do a crossword on the website Notre Temps. And this is a really fun way to learn French vocabulary in a funny setting. So if you want to try it yourself before watching the video, you can just click on the link that is in the description. Hoping it works because we had issues last time, I know. Um, but you can give it a try. It's going to be difficult. And you can watch this video after. Ready? So I know it's difficult, okay? Uh, students ask me about something easier, but this is force 1. So that's the easiest thing you can find, but they're made for native speakers. And this is why it's difficult, okay? But let's do this together. We're in no rush. We have 30 minutes and I'm going to help you. Um, so um, my dad watched it last time and he told me, you should do it like you do in real life, which is starting with the easy words. So I'm doing to, going to do this to show you how I would do in real life. Uh, so five is a three letter word and this is called réseau francilien. So it is about a network of trains that you have in front that you might know. I'm going to assume it's RER and that's right. So again, if you're doing this for the first time, when the letters end up being black, uh, become black, it means that your name, your thing is right. Uh, so réseau francilien, RER, it is uh, one of the, let's say, underground slash trains that you can find around Paris and in Paris. Son curé est célèbre, son curé est célèbre, so it is the name of a priest that is famous, I would say curé, I think it's Ars, yes, good. My French literature is somewhere in my brain, so good. Précède libitum, so this is an expression that we have in French, uh, that we use in French, which is actually Latin, so you might know this uh, from your own language if you're using it as well. I would say ad, okay, good. And um, il assure les urgences with four letters, I don't know. Il assure les urgences. Ah, uh, yes, I think, it's, I think it's the name of the emergency service that you can call in France. Uh, I would say it's SAMU. Good. So far, so good. Le SAMU, it is uh, what you can call if you are in France in an emergency. Ouverture Breton, I have no idea. Étranger à la religion. I think it is foreign from religion. I think it's what you call a uh, secular in English. Uh, I would say like, yes, good, like, works well. Rechercher si on apprécie le grand air, so you, something you look for if you like the outdoors, le grand air is big air, literally, so it's uh, fresh air, outdoors, je sais pas, I don't know. Uh, and um, 11 is small, fleuve côtier, Oh, I should know that might be rue. No. Oh, I know people are going to be angry because I should know that. Can't remember. Uh, here we have a few letters already, so we could look for this ones. F uh, vertical. Base de la frangipane. So you might know that if you like to cook or if you like to eat la galette des rois. La galette des rois, what makes la frangipane is amande. Les amandes. Almonds. Uh, F, uh, let's say G. Droit de jouissance. So it is when you can enjoy something because it's yours or something. Because it's yours or you can actually use it. Oh, that's really hard. Okay, I know it. Uh, this is for the lawyers out there. So it is usufruit, I think. Or if it's not, I have no idea what it is. Usufruit is when you can actually use something. So I'm not a lawyer, but, so I can't tell you exactly what this is about, but this is what it is. Droit de jouissance is when you're allowed to use something. Uh, uh, ce signal par un signal, what do you think this is? So it's, a, it's signal by a signal. I would say, can you guess? 
I think it's alarm. Yes. I'm very lucky today. I haven't prepared. It's the truth. I haven't. Um, but when you take things, when you take the words one by one, it's 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 okay. So eight, huit horizontal. Rechercher si l'on apprécie le grand air. Je, I'm going to put an e here because my assumption is that it's an e here because it ends the word properly. And h vertical. Abréviation de secteur parlant. That's tricky. It is about uh, speaking. So I would say maybe something about subtitles. I don't know. Or the original language, maybe. Okay. So. Let's come back to the difficult ones. We have eight horizontal. We have nine morceaux de cochon. This is a piece of pig, so you might uh, have an idea about that. It is bacon. It's lard. Okay. Remilitarisé. It is about. Um, putting back into the military some uh, territory that was out of it or a, an, a domain that was out of it. Do you have an idea? I think it's rearmé. Yes, it works. And again, as you can see here, we have a first verb group and here we have another one. So it's not necessarily the case at all. But usually when you're looking for a verb, you can very often put er here at the end because it is very often going to help you to find the verb and to just put a few letters here and there. But it might be wrong because lots of verbs are not first, um, first group verbs. What do we have here? D. Okay, so it is donc parons. So it is not around. What can that be? I think it's a square. How do you say square in French? You say carré. Good. Um, then another tip on this eight, which I have no idea about. If you look, if you look watching this live, maybe you already know. Uh, doesn't come to me. Uh, C vertical, we have prenez le chemin. So here, what we can see is that we have um, un, un imparfait, it is imperfect, and it ends in AES. And when you have one conjugation, it is going to be the same conjugation in the answer. So here we have A, so we can assume that it is ES for AES, the same conjugation. And prenez le chemin, to take the path, so we can assume that it is to go, and it is aller, and that's true. Good. Eight is, is probably very obvious. I just don't, my brain is just stuck on this one. Uh, let's look at this one. Distant. Distant is when you have a piece of clothing or, and you just do it like that, okay? Distant. I don't know. You might know this one again. Démoli. Ah, I think I, I have this one. Démoli, so demolish. So this is a present. 
because I, I kind of think I know the answer. And it is when you remove everything, there is a building or something, and then you have nothing left, you, you make it, you remove everything. I think it's rase. So rase is different thing, it's, it is shaving when you're doing this on hair, or hairs, I think you say, or it can be when you're removing everything from a surface especially when you're demolishing something. So this is rase. The verb is raser. B vertical. Fait un signe au grec. So does a sign to the Greeks. So here it makes you think that it's a sign like that. Okay. But I assume it is a letter from the alphabet. Greek alphabet. I would say eta. Good. Oh, and distant. It is literally to do this with the piece of, um, of clothing and it is étir, distant, étir, and it can be with something else. You have this idea of doing something like that. Étir, the verb is étirer. Then the eight doesn't, doesn't come to me. Uh, six vertical, A is A. Afficher pour montrer. Afficher can be to put um, a sign or a poster or something, and montrer is to show. But it can also mean. Uh, it can also mean to give give out a secret. Uh, afficher pour montrer. I don't know. As you can see, even for someone can be difficult. What do we have? Quasi immaterial. So almost immaterial. So it's not like uh, real that you can touch. Okay, it's like a spirit or a ghost. Une machine pour un travail de précision. Instructeur. Instructeur, I would say maybe professor, but there are way too, too few letters. Instructeur. I'm going to put EUR here just in case it's the same structure. Quatre horizontal might be easy. Symbole pour un métal. F-E pour faire, I would say. Yeah. Le faire is F-E. Uh, H vertical. Can we guess this one? Vin d'Espagne. For that, I have no idea. <laughs> it's very funny to be struggling together. Surcharger. Here I can assume... It's overcharged, overwhelmed. Oh, of course, eight. Oh, yeah. Okay, so eight. It is recherché si on apprécie le grand air. It's not outdoors at all. It is the music. So an air, it's, an air is also um, a song, um, the music of a song. And here it is bel canto. That's, I think, what it is. Yes, of course. So the definition, they can be tricky. And this is what makes uh, games like that very funny, but difficult because you have a double understanding, double meaning of them. Yes, it was not outdoors at all. That's good. Uh, afficher pour montrer. Arborer. Okay, so again... I told you it's about a showing. Affiché can be to put a poster or a sign. And this is just to put something on yourself in order to show off. So it is arboré. That's difficult. So arboré means like that. Uh, arboré, uh, your money, this kind of thing. So usually it's something that you're proud of. Arboré. So here it is not that. Uh, seven. Ria, yeah, okay. So here, 
I, I put an E before and it didn't work, so it was in orange. So it, uh, it says that it doesn't work. And here um, I put an I instead because it was my guess. But I again, I don't know this word. Seven, it is Ouverture Bretonne. Uh, I am going to assume it is uh, something about geography, but I don't know. I don't know for now because I'm doing this and I'll check later. H, vertical H. Uh, we have abbreviation du secteur parlant. So here I assume it is... Uh, I'm checking, I'm thinking about all the, the letters I can put there. I don't, honestly, I have no idea. If I were to find this, I would just do all the letters, but we're going to get um, a tip. Come. Oh, yes. Okay. But I would not have guessed, so you can get a little tip here. Uh, horizontal one. We really have to move on and find them. Trois instructeurs. For now, I don't know. B, vertical, surchargé. Oh. Non. I would I put en hardi, which means like you have lots of strength and courage. Courage. Uh, D, Material de vannerie. So it is, this is about material de vannerie. This is when you're going to make um, this, um, a panier. Just forget the name. I think it's osier. Okay, yeah, that's the material you make uh, them, in, them from. I think it's an S here. That's my guess. Then, okay, so I ha really have to think now. Surchargé. Fille irrésistible, I think it's Nana. No, that's not. Uh, Ah, it doesn't come to me. Maybe you know that. E tendu face au gibier. That would be about uh, le gibier is the little animals that you can. Uh, well, you can. Hunt. F. Plumé tel un pigeon. That's U, I think. Plumé tel un pigeon. Plumé is your, when you get someone. Like you're doing a trick on them. Et un pigeon is, um, is a name that, well, in this expression that we use in order to say I got you. H. I have to hurry. I'm going to, it is, so it is a, an instrument that you use for doing yourself, doing to a DIY, une machine pour un travail de précision. I'm going to say visseuse. No. This is, I think it's that. Because this is how you, how you write the, um, the uh, instruments, les instruments. That's really tricky. I hope I get, I can get it done. E is. Okay, I'm going to get a tip because if I don't, I won't succeed. And I really want to, to do that. Uh, quasi immatériel. Uh, 
it can this be an R? No. Oh yes, it's Xeres here. Okay, I get it. Van de Xeres. Uh, I will say something like voluptueux. Vaporeux. Okay, yes. Vaporeux is like a, a mist or something. Like vapor, mist. Uh, a fille irresistible. Vamp. It is, uh, it is a very attractive woman that does a little bit too much. It's a very, it's not a positive word. Surchargé. Can we get? Alourdi. Alourdi. Okay, good. These three. Instructeur, it is moniteur. It is the word that we have for people who teach you to drive. Moniteur. Then this one, a vertical. Tendu face au gibier, ray. Okay, ah, that's, that's impossible for you to guess. Tendu face au gibier, it is. Um, C'est un filet, en fait. Un filet. For les rays, un filet. I thought it would be an animal or something, but it's not. Here, quatre, insectes sauteurs, les puces. Et here, uh, c'est vertical, pluriel de penny, pence, allaiseuse. I would never have guessed. Here, almost there, we have to hurry. Uh, fleuve côtier, again, I don't know. And here, douze pièces de bois. G vertical. Style de musique pour Faudel. Oh, that's easy. That's le rail. It is a, a music that a kind of music from Northern Africa that he sang. He's a singer. Uh, Faudel is a singer. H. Il couvre les quatre saisons. En. Oh, it's a year. And here, pièce de bois. I have no idea. Tant. So, oof. We're done. So. We did it under, I think, 25 minutes, I hope. Uh, it was difficult. As you saw, there were lots of things that I didn't know, even as a French-speaking native. Alaiseuse, I had no idea. And uh, Tain, I didn't know. And uh, Fleuve Cotier, ah uh ah. -uh. So this is a trick for people who play crosswords, but this is not a word that you're going to use ah uh ah -uh ever. It's more the others, and as you can as you can see, there were tricks as well, such as uh, l'air. Think about the air. Rechercher si l'on apprécie le grand air, bel canto. Yes, it's obvious when you know it, but when you're looking for it, you're looking for some a completely different definition. Uh, if you struggle, that's fine. It was easier to just stick with me and try to guess them. So I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, it would be wonderful if you could put a thumb up and tell your friends who like crosswords about this because I know this is not the most popular topic on YouTube, but for students who like doing those crosswords, it's such a, something enjoyable. And I would love to do this in English as well if I had people uh, solving crosswords with me because I struggle a lot. I wish you a lovely day, a lovely evening, maybe a lovely afternoon, and I will see you next week. We're already working on a series of very exciting um, videos which are more for everybody rather than this kind of very very niche interest that is uh, crosswords. I will see you mardi prochain next Tuesday. Allez, salut!